We're in Brino. I'm Joshua. I'm Charles. Ah! <laughs> We're gonna do well today, right? But all I ask is that you open your eyes, open your heart. That's what it's about. You see, you forgot to enter my life. I had to open my heart. So um, we're in Brunel, we're doing stepping out, right? We're really stepping out evangelism. We're gonna, you know, show you how we do it here. You know, Brunel living, get me. Are you, are you born again? Sorry? Are you born again? Born again. Again. Okay, uh -huh. If you read the Quran and you break down everything, it all makes perfect sense. It all links together. It says there's one God, there's these prophets that are not as high as God and that God cannot be put down to a human level. Michelle and today was today was today was good it was good to hear other people's views about how they think Christianity is a religion how um, their views about God and how and his power and how he manifests it and their views about about Jesus Christ and who he is they how it was interesting to hear what Jesus means to them in contrast to what Jesus, who Jesus is to us, like he's our Lord and Saviour. He's the whole reason why we're here, we're in the faith, we're in the kingdom of God. What I want to hammer home, I don't even want to go too fast. What I want to hammer home is that, you know, Christ came for you, literally. What's your name? Justin. Justin again. Do you remember, did I tell you my name? Yeah. What was it? Yeah. What did I tell you? Did I tell you my name? No. Joshua, uh-huh. Joshua. Joshua. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, right, you remember it? Yeah. What's your name? Joshua. <laughs> I just, I just wanted to say my name. <laughs> I noticed. Did she introduce herself? No. Michelle, no. Michelle. No, no. no, no. Take, you receive forgiveness and repent and move forward. And the Holy so Spirit, it's like you have that to acknowledge it. Every other exactly. religion, what we yeah. Yeah. No, but this is the difference though. You're not asking for forgiveness, you're receiving it. It's already there for all, all of the forgiveness. The, but this is the thing all the forgiveness. You don't have to be going on about, oh, Lord, I love you. Just have, as in, when you come into that, of Christ and that joint inheritance, all you have to do is acknowledge what you've done because you know that forgiveness is already there for you. Uh -huh. So acknowledge what you've done, you don't need to be going on lamenting and things like that. Just acknowledge what you've done, and then that's because mm. forgiveness like was said that, for you. Said the forgiveness is already there for uh -huh. you. So when, when, um, the reason, the, the, let's not get um, the receive and asking, let's just say they're the same thing. Uh -huh. Basically, what it says is that our sins have been covered, past, present, and future. Uh -huh. Understand. And for example, if you happen to, because you, you're not going to know everything you've done today, mm. you understand? So the ones that you don't even know about, they're covered in the blood. Covered. That's the good news. That's why it's called the gospel, the good news, is that you don't have to live in condemnation anymore. Mm. You see, all those, you don't have to think, oh, what did I do today? Did mm. I make a mistake? Am I going to hell? Mm. No, you just live in the bliss of God. Mm. That the mistakes you make, don't worry, they're all being covered. You just love me. God always just wants your heart. So you know you can't abuse God because God knows your heart. You can't just say, "Yeah, oh my sins are forgiven. Let me just do wrong and just ask yeah. for forgiveness." Mm. You, you can't mock God. You see, God sees your heart. Mm. Repent means to turn away from that sin. Mm -hmm. To repent, turn away, mm. and turn to God. You mm. see, so you can do that as um, a Hindu. You can try it as a Hindu, but it won't work. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time to see us, baby. So, just to hammer home that you know this. This gospel, this good news, take it as literally as good news. Mm. That you can live a higher life. Mm. That you can get into knowing something. That you can have fellowship with God. It sounds striking but to say, I hear God the same way I'm hearing you right now talk. It sounds so striking, but you can have that fellowship. It's not, it's not something that takes time, 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 time. No, you can take that step now. And it was interesting to see that the absence of of God in their lives is it, it causes like so much conflict and so much confusion in a sense that like when in the conversation with the two girls they were just constantly going back continue to go backwards to try and prove their point whereas we were trying to portray to them that Jesus is the only way they didn't want to hear it they were just going back and back and back to how God can't do this and God can't do that but 
he, he can do anything. Because so are you saying for every other religion other than Christianity, if you ask for forgiveness, you won't be forgiven for your sins unless you ask for forgiveness from Jesus? Because Christ... So, because but you mean yes? The, um, what so I mean, in every other religion, you're not forgiven for your sins? The whole world has been <laughs> forgiven for their sins, do you understand? Yeah. But to receive forgiveness of sins is through Jesus Christ. You must have Christ to receive forgiveness of sins because forgiveness of sins is in him mm. his blood that will wash your so sins so us as muslims if we pray for forgiveness to our lord uh -huh. to allah yeah are you saying we're not forgiven at the moment you cannot receive forgiveness god has forgiven you but you cannot receive until you receive christ but we have jesus in our religion but you have him you have him you, you have him as a prophet mm -hmm. not as you don't believe in his resurrection or in his um his work on the cross mm -hmm. to give you this it's a daily devotion, it's got knowledge in it, basically. It's, it's called the Rhapsody of Realities. Okay. This is the number one book. It's literally, it's by our man of God, Pastor Chris, you know? And it's filled with nuggets, knowledge, mm. power. You see, there's a word that's written in here that contains power, you know? Something that's going to give you the insight, the ability, the capacity to grasp what we're saying. You get it, you know? But I wanted to ask now, do you want to receive salvation today? Mm. And how come? Is that all right? That's in, it's, it's not. It's just fun. It takes two seconds, you know? It's just a step towards God. Just a prayer. Just a prayer, literally. And read that. And then we can literally. But you have to. Un do you, you understand what it is, though, right? Just to repeat a prayer and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. And believe it in your heart. But you have to say it with a believing heart. You believe there's a God, right? And when you look at the Quran, think about this. In the Quran, it says this. that Because the Quran came on hundred, some years after Christianity, right? After the word of God, etc. But then the message of the Quran is this. This is the message of the Quran. When you look at the Quran, my dad used to be Muslim, you know? I've, I know a lot about the Quran. It says this. Guys. <laughs> so you remind them. In the, <laughs> in the garden, yeah? It wasn't Jesus that died. You know, on the cross, it was a lookalike. Mm -hmm. mm. On the, in the garden, he was swapped, huh. and the man on the cross, it wasn't him, it was a lookalike. Huh. That sounds a bit fish, you know? Mm. That, so, that's what the Quran says, it was a lookalike, from the look at Jesus Christ that died. So the, 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 everybody's preaching Jesus Christ, he's, a, he's the Lord, he's died for our sins, etc. But then someone says, oh, no, 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 it hold on, him. it was a lookalike. Mm. That's a bit fish, you know? Because if it was Jesus, and then you know, most people would assume that Jesus is God, but God is not human. So that means that message is now saying it's coming against the message of the of, of, of the Bible. That's what you're saying that because the, the, the message of the, of the of the gospel is that God came down, He sent Jesus Christ to die, and on the third day He would resurrect for our justification. Hmm. You understand? And that's God's plan. He chose to. Who are you to say how God should and should not operate? God, God has a choice, no? Mm -hmm. He has a choice, right? Mm -hmm. So why isn't God allowed? Why isn't God allowed to to choose the what He wants to do and the way He wants to save mankind? Who are you to say what God can and cannot do? Bro, so, hey, as in, I'm not. I don't hate. God. No, no, no. I know. I know you so don't. Like, no. I know you don't. But like, you see, there's something greater for you. I don't, I don't you. believe that God has an image or anything like that. There is God because mm -hmm. I know 100 percent science couldn't have like just created this 100 percent. Like, like there must have been something behind all of this. Like, mm -hmm. created. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm stuck. You get it? Like, yeah. That's why I'm atheist. I don't believe. It. We'll talk. Like you're not even atheist. You're agnostic. Like, yeah, exactly. I, I, I don't know you the believe in like the universe and. You, you believe, you believe that something. something that's an order. But do you know what? Yeah, let, yeah, me, yeah. let me let me let me say this final thing yeah. before I leave you. Yeah. Yeah. I believe in the fact that like the whole agnostic like the science thing. Yeah. But then what happened before that? What happened before? How did? How so did almost was, like how did, how did God come? Create? Yeah, like, it was just there. That's what I think. That, uh, that's why I believe that. Oh, something like there must have been a God or something that created this whole universe to mm -hmm. be here in the first place. You get it? Okay. So that's that's why I'm stuck between. God and science. Because the thing is, like, you I see, know, but let me, let me, let me, let me. It's, it's, it's easy thing to say. I, I, I need to. Go. You know, <laughs> there's a scripture about that says, "Pray for the luscious milk that is the word of God." You know, so literally, you need to feed yourself this thing. You know, but if you would like to be led to salvation today, because in salvation, this divine health, ne never failure, never anything. It's more than just following this. Now is the best time. Now is the best time. Salvation is now. Do you get it? Mm. Salvation is now. I had a friend. The other day she died, I promise you, my friend's little sister. But did she die in Christ? I don't know. Do you get it? 
So now is the best time. She didn't know she was going to die. She was doing GCSEs. Do you get it? So now is always the best time. Salvation is now. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no. It was, was it was powerful. That was literally powerful. Um, the, the, there were five of them, right? Yeah. Two of them were Christian. There was three of them. One was half. <laughs> one was Catholic. half Catholic what? And Hindu, right? Half Catholic, half Hindu. And then the other two were Hindu. Their works. parents were Hindu. And they were, but they were atheists. But, you know, we're, you know, we're hammering the word, you know. We're hammering the word. No, let's, let's keep it moving. Took, it took a while. Let's took keep a moving. A let's keep moving. The importance of evangelism is to spread the word, to spread the knowledge that we have, to bring others into the light that we are in and to bring others into the kingdom of God. We've been sent to preach the word, to preach the gospel to all nations, to bring, to just to bring everyone into the consciousness that we are in, or to give them the opportunity to be brought into the consciousness, because it's God's will that all men will be saved. so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but shall have everlasting life what does that mean it doesn't mean Christ came for the masses no he came for you and I if there was only you on this earth he still would have come for you there is power in the name that can resurrect the dead heal the sick heal the blind but you wouldn't know that, would you? Unless you today give your life to Christ. Because there is freedom in Jesus. There is joy in Jesus. When you find him, you truly find yourself. Know that you are unique. Know that he did not come onto this world to condemn you. But instead he actually came here to save you. That there is nothing you could do or say in this world that could ever decrease the love that he has for you. There is nothing. God is God. So if God is omnipotent and God is the creator, he has a choice to do whatever he wants. He has a choice. Because yeah. you're saying that God cannot come as a human form. Mm -hmm. yeah. If God can do whatever he wants, why would he need to kill himself just to give a message? He could do that in so many other ways, like sending uh, all the prophets that he sent down. Mm. And uh, each prophet made some type of impact mm. and showed that... Because God message. is just. Because God put laws in place, right? And sin... It's called the law of sin and death, mm. right? Now, sin can only be atoned and remitted by the shedding of blood. Mm. Mm. It doesn't matter what God... Sin can only be remitted by the shedding of blood. The blood is the one that washes, that atones for man's sin. Mm. That's just the law. That's how it is. That's how God made it to be. Mm. You understand? 
So God cannot just send a prophet and just there needs to be bloodshed. That's why back in the day they used to kill animals, yeah. you know, burnt offerings, etc. So wait, when you say question is religion, do you not believe in heaven and hell? Mm-hmm. Of course, I yeah. Do. So then for you to get into heaven would be to believe Jesus, right? Yeah. So that's exactly what religion is, isn't it? I mean, it depends how you what you define religion. Religion is religion Christianity is not a religion. You see, because if you say it's a religion, it's like you're missing the message. Yeah. You know? But I, I, what I'm trying to say is that Christ is the way, basically. Christ is the way. He's not a way, he is the way. Because when you say there's many religions, you think there's many ways to God, but there's only one way to God, and that is through Jesus Christ. It's through Christ. And he loves you guys so much, you know? <laughs> he loves you so much, he died for you. Yeah. You understand? He loves you so, so much, you know? And I know there's more for you in life. I know you're lo- looking for more in life. I know that even in your life today, there's some lack of, there's a void. Yeah. No, that's powerful. <laughs> <laughs> but I think every man has that void, whether you know it or not. Okay, because every man has a God-shaped void, hmm. a hole in their heart. I feel like that void, you can fill it with that religion. You can fill it with many things. Some people try drugs, relationships, yeah. movies, traveling the world, etc. You understand? But if you want it to be fully filled and satisfied, it's through Christ. So there's a prayer at the back of you. Prayer of salvation. So, review after me. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. Let's close our eyes. So, oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. I believe He died for me, and God raised Him from the dead. God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day through him and in his name I have eternal life I'm born again thank you Lord for saving my soul I'm now a child of God hallelujah praise God welcome to the kingdom but <laughs> you know but there's more to this, you know. Let me give this to you. There's, there's, there's that, but then there's also being filled with the Holy Spirit. And we are His messengers. We take the message to them. We spread the word, we spread the gospel. And it's important for us to evangelize so that people have the opportunity to receive Jesus Christ and to become a son of God so that they can live the high life that we do. It's a bit selfish to keep Christianity to ourselves to keep this relationship that we have with God to ourselves so we have to go out and evangelize and bring others into it wow the part of the kingdom of God now thank you so 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 much thank you all right yeah Yeah. nice to meet you yeah take care of yourself bye bye (laughs) wow yes so we just led us all to Christ praise God you know, it was, she was very, very receptive, very open. We listened. She actually went to a Catholic school, but you know, it's, 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 it shows something. She was saying that you know, she doesn't know if it's the right time, but you know, salvation is now. You know, salvation is always about the now. In this moment, receiving salvation. You know, Sister Michelle, what did you think? I thought that she was a bit apprehensive. That she thought that coming into Christianity is going to be work, so she was like. She didn't know if it was the right time for her to mm. come in. She wants to be maybe a bit more settled, a bit older. Mm. But like Joshua just said, like Paul Joshua just said, salvation is now. Mm-hmm. She had no better opportunity than the opportunity that we just gave her to mm. receive Christ, to mm. receive him as her Lord and Savior. Mm. So um, I'm just grateful that she took the time mm. to listen and to receive what we had to say. And mm. then she actually went along to say the prayer and mm-hmm. she is born again. Praise God. So. Body of Christ, you know? It's powerful, you know. It's, she really opened up and I'm really happy to see that, you know. That's all it takes. You know, Jesus is, is he he's not hard on you. You have to be willing to let him in. You know. But praise God, we did it. We're not living, I told you. <laughs> Come on in. Come on. <laughs> Stepping up. Ah, bala kabaye. 
say that again. We're stepping out to bring them in. <laughs> I like that one too. Bye. 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 You know. Who we see when Jesus cried? And that's your opinion. That is. That's, that's your belief. That's my conviction. And we have a belief how that's always, different. To that. How come there's always New Testaments and New that? For us, the Quran has never changed and you can never change it. Mm. Um, of course, it's either English translations, yeah. but the Quran itself, you can't change it. You even get people who learn their Quran well, by heart. Sat it off heart. So that it will yeah. never get yeah, changed. So our first ever copy. So how can someone be that smart, prepare for that? And how come there's predictions in the Quran about. Scientific stuff mm. that's covering now. Yeah, only mm. now. I mean, we, I can say the same thing about the Bible. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to do, I want to take it higher, okay? Today, in the name of Jesus, cancer dies. Mm. HIV goes. Mm. Blind eyes open. Mm. You understand? In the name of Jesus, death is on stop. The lame walk. Mm. You understand? In the name of Jesus, depression is gone. Mm. Demons are cast out in the name of Jesus today. But all so, of those things are placed on this earth from God. No, no, they're and not from God. Like Sickness is not from God. Sickness is not from God. It's important to step out because this life that we live isn't just for us, it's for everybody. So we need to go and take it to them if they don't know about it. We need to take the gospel to them. We need to physically step out and present them with the word, present them with the gospel as we have them and eventually bring them into what we are about. How do you explain people that are really religious and people that are spiritual and have a strong relationship with Jesus and God but still have cancer, yeah, are that, still ill, are will, still depressed. And that's why the knowledge is important. The will of God is this, for man to enjoy life. You can, you're not enjoying life on hospital bed, mm -hmm. you understand? So that yeah, but if you're dying, you can't exactly yeah. go out into the world and live life. Exactly, that's, and God wants you to enjoy your life and go out. You see, so that means the will of God is not for you to have cancer. So somebody that has been brought in a Christian is a Christian and has cancer, they need to come to know the suffering that they need to receive knowledge yeah. that God wants you well. Okay, and to but receive what, what about pastors or like priests and people like that? that people that, that know anything yeah. that so do have that spiritual knowledge. The, the, word, do of, have that the word of God is, is me, for example, me, for example, I live in divine health. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. What, what what's makes me different from me and some another Christian is that the knowledge I've received into my spirit. So what does that pastor need? That pastor needs to receive healing. He needs to he needs to receive what's available to him. The healing is always available. The, the divine health is always available. So when you see somebody that's you you would see you would say that it's spiritual. Do you understand? Because mm -hmm. of the way they appear, etc. But it means something's missing. Mm -hmm. They haven't received or well, they haven't apprehended what belongs to them. There's mm -hmm. a problem somewhere. Mm -hmm. There's a there's an abnormality somewhere. Mm -hmm. Something's going wrong in their system. Mm -hmm. You're not meant to be sick, but you're sick. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong. So that means we need to now correct it through the word of God. Mm -hmm. You see, so maybe that pastor needs to go to another pastor who knows how to rightly divide the word of God in and truth. help him receive mm -hmm. what. If, surely, if you acknowledge Jesus, you don't have to do anything. Like I mean, if you acknowledge Jesus and you walk in sin, you're, you're opening doors for the wrong things to come into your life. Yeah. It has to if be a true knowledge. Like, like, God doesn't allow... Like, but cannot. isn't that subjective to everyone? You might think you have true knowledge and that, that priest might think but you have true knowledge. But it's testament how I live. Like, how, how, how I live and how if, if anything ails me, if, any, if, if, I'm, if I'm kind of feeling bad or if, and, and they are, that's, that's the true knowledge because God wants you to live in your best version of yourself, as Pastor just said. That going to live, going to live in your best version of yourself, and if I'm walking in that, in that kind of like I'm, I'm perfectly good, in divine health, and they're walking in kind of not walking in there, and they're feeling bad, and they're feeling depressed, and but God wants you to be the best version of yourself for Him. You, you can kind of see. But if God you wants you to be the best version of yourself, you would have to go through a lot, especially hard times, to be ill. Not necessarily, but yeah. you don't need to not go always, through a lot because if you have Ill. Him. You're, you're, if you have him and if you acknowledge him, you're automatically, there's no need for you to go through a lot. No, but and it'll make you stronger, it'll make you feel stronger. It's true. What you're saying is true because, for example, once you go through the challenge of uh, sickness in your body, mm -hmm. you can now put the word of God to work and build your faith and apprehend through the word of God divine health. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. how you're able to now, like, to get stronger. And when, when you meet somebody else that's having a similar challenge, you can now build them up because you've been through it. You know how to apply the word of God. Mm -hmm. You understand? So that is very true at the same time, you know, that's very true. I like for today, um, definitely Jocelyn being born again, being kind of given the opportunity to receive salvation once again. She said she came from a Catholic background, but she was waiting for the right time to be 
born again to be Christian basically to come into a relationship with God but there is no better time than now and she did receive Christ today and that was the highlight of today. But the Word of God must work. When you put the Word of God, the Word of God, the Bible to work, it works. Yeah. For example, when somebody is on a wheelchair yeah. and we say to them, in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. rise up and walk. We, where did we get that from? We got that from the Word of God, the Bible. Mm -hmm. So that means the Word of God is working. So we're putting it to work in the name of Jesus, but rise up. we also have that as well. We have this, you have to be Inshallah. You have to miracles, good happens. Did you have to miracles? Did you have the supernatural? Did you have miracles? Miracles. We're humans. We can't be on God's level. We don't have that. But then we have that but here. God shows it in many but ways. We have that in Christianity. There's okay, the miracles. But then how do you explain miracles that have happened in happened through Islam? Are how we, do yeah. you explain how, like there's a story. you know when people are possessed uh -huh. and you, when you read Islamic prayers on them? Uh -huh. how, why does that help as For, opposed to just? Saint Jesus Christ. That's this is also a story of a, a blind boy uh -huh. who was very, very, very religious and mm. his mum prayed every day for him to get eyesight because he's like so religious and mm. committed himself to yeah. like Islam and then all of a sudden he gets eyesight huh. and then he devotes himself for his whole life to spread the message. That's an amazing story. But, but how can you explain that let's, as well? Let's get today, reality today, let's get today. Today's happening. Let's see today. Like so that's what I'm asking no, no, about no, no. people being I, possessed. I, I, I give you a, yeah, that's, that's still a thing let's nowadays. See, let's see so. that today, though. Let's see. Have you like today your personal experience? Have you casted that devil from somebody? Your Not me myself. Yeah, I have. You understand? I've done it in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You see, I'm, and the devil's left. You understand? So I'm, I'm like, bring your God, and I'll bring my God. Mm -hmm. You understand? I think let's bring our power. Let's see. 100%. Let's see what works. You understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. So my word for you is that. As Jesus is, so are you. He stepped out and he spread the word, he, which is himself. He wanted to bring others into the relationship that he had, he has with God. And that's the same way we should be doing. We should be stepping out to bring others in to the relationship that we have with our Father. Talk to us, guys. Talk to them. Talk to the guy. You know what, yeah? You know, I was listening to these mighty men, you know, and I was just thinking, um, I was just so, st you know, I had to leave the camera. Mm. Mm. You know, because I was just, I was so stirred, you know, I just wanted to just share some nuggets, you know, just to illuminate, you know, from, you know, things that was just bubbling in my spirit, you know. But I mean, what do you get? How was that nah, for you? No, 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 I was interested, very powerful, you know. You get to see how the people, yeah, people are. think, <laughs> like, and almost come to a level of, like, compromising for their own faith, almost, like, like just so much to stretch that their thing is so right they'll even almost compromise to say yeah okay we accept we respect that oh i can see it there but we can do that as well mm. but then it's almost contradictory because if there's one then it's by one way things go it's by one way things are cast out you know but it's, it's interesting it's a very interesting way to go about things what are you thinking so i heard pretty much sound that all up because i took words out of my mouth because it's so because it's interesting because they're so they tend to be quite um, adamant about what they about what they what they believe in mm -hmm. and so the fact that they even trying to come to terms trying to wrap their heads around them, and even coming along to these kind of to, to meetings as well hopefully well not even hopefully but coming along to the meetings <laughs> that it's so powerful to see because like we, we're trying to we're, that's how it starts that's how it started for me personally as well mm. slowly but surely mm. so that I thought, I thought that was amazing so. wow Manto Rambo Scandarino Scandarino Romaradi Scandarino Scandarino I just got tongue, you know? I got tongue, you know? And it just, it, it ministers to you because you're thinking about how many more people out there that are receptive and we need to reach. You just like, you gotta step out, you see? You, you gotta step out. We need to step out. I'm sure that even as you're watching, you're thinking as a Christian that, Oh boy, I wish I was there to say this, this, that, that, that. You gotta step out. Yeah. There are people in your world, in your street, on your high street, that are ready to receive the message you have. Yeah. You understand? So you gotta step out. These brothers, we're yeah. stepping out. Yeah. Do you understand? You stepped out. Do you understand? <laughs> hey! Hiya. Oh, 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 don't do it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, it's been powerful. It's been powerful. It's been powerful. God, sir, do so, you know how much Jesus loves you, sir? Uh -huh. Do you know how much? You know how much Jesus loves you, sir? Do you believe that, sir? Talk to me. <laughs> Talk to me, sir. <laughs> Bro, just what's going on in your heart? Hmm? What's the word in your heart? Hmm, what's the word? Hmm. 
Which one? The natural or the tongues of angels or the natural one? The tongue. One <laughs> toko bradishka indara asafron the skele mangreti. Ribala ka sondara ba andi skele box. Let's talk to the people now. Listen. Listen. All right, listen, guys. You know, you stepped out today, okay? Now you have to step out. You have to step out where you are. Mm. You see, there are people that. You know, you can't just watch people and let them believe what they want to believe. Mm. You can't say that, oh, it's up to them, you know, oh, I, mm. oh if they want to go if they want to go to hell, let them go to hell. If they want to not believe. No, the Bible says, knowing the terror of the Lord, we mm. persuade men. So we step out to persuade men mm. into our way of thinking, mm. into the truth, mm. to convince them. Do you understand? Mm. So we are sowing the seeds. People are watering them. So be a part of the process. Got to be a part of the process. Mm. This thing is burning in our hearts, mm. burning in our hearts. Glory to God. Mm. Wow. So you're watching Stefan out. <laughs> Getting the closing address, for you, man. Closing address. Yeah, man. Bring our living is how we did it. You know, come on, eh. Yeah, uh, now, but literally, please step out, cause you know, you even if you feel like you're not gonna do anything, even if you just give that word, you see, you're planting, but somebody else is watering. You get it. You're putting, you don't know, you could be putting it on fertile ground. Mm. So be the one that's changing someone. Be the one that's bringing a soul to the kingdom of God. Because every time a soul is one, the whole of, king of heaven is, is rejoicing. Mm. Do you get it? You just think about it. The day that you go and, and you see Jesus and he says, well done, my faithful servant. Just be, look to the future. Step up, be inspired, be encouraged. You know, we're doing it here, you get me? Come on, eh. Come on, eh, come on. Out here, out here. What's this? <laughs> <laughs>